Dean Brody uh, back playing live again since the summer. It must have been just amazing playing those first few shows, getting back in front of people again. It was, man. It was so good. Like the guys too, like the whole band was, we were just like a bunch of high school kids playing our first concert. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. And the energy you were getting back from the audiences must have been just amazing too. Yeah. And I got to say this, I think three of the shows that we played this summer, there was rain, like really bad rain. And everyone stayed out. Everybody was out in, in the mud and the rain. And I think that just speaks to how hungry everybody is to get back to this, you know, music and sharing music together. Let's talk a little bit about writing I'd Go to Jail. Uh, I, I was reading that you, that kind of fell in your lap. Can you talk about how it sort of came to you? Yeah. Yeah, some songs, they, they write themselves. You've heard people say, obviously, like it just kind of falls in your lap. Or um, Some songs you labor over, like you just you just beat your head against the wall. And honestly, those ones can be great too. But I tend to like dismiss songs that come really fast. And I'd go to jail, came really fast too. But so did time. And so I was like, oh, man, maybe it's not so bad that it came really fast. Maybe that just means it it's, it's going to be special. I don't know. And. Um, but yeah, it came, it came really quick, probably to 20, 25 minutes, you know, to flesh it out. Then a couple of weeks of going back to it going, ah, I think I'll change that. But uh, I got choked up as I was sitting in it and writing it. And usually that's a good sign that it could be something that might resonate with people. And it turns out, yeah, I'd go to jail is resonating with a lot of people too. Yeah. It's very, it's, it's funny that you don't trust something that comes that quickly because I've heard a, some songwriters say the opposite, that if it comes quickly, they absolutely trust it even more. So it's interesting, uh, that perspective. Yeah, I guess I've always felt like it's, it's got to be hard work or it's not good. But sometimes <laughs> it's so hard on something for three months and people are like, eh, like what? I, I work so hard on that song. <laughs> and then something else you just banged out. They're like, oh, I love that song. Play that song you just banged out. And it's like, okay. Let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, how you got together with... Uh, the incredible sort of rising star right now in, in the sort of Nashville firmament of Mickey Guyton. How did you manage to get together with her and, and sing uh, Boys? Yeah, um, I'd heard Mickey sing on, uh, what was it? Jim, yeah, Jimmy Allen was working with us in on the Bud stage. I'm starting to forget this is so long ago, but three years ago, we had Jimmy Allen open for us in the Bud stage, and Jimmy's an amazing country act in the U.S. And, uh, he did a duet with Mickey and I just remember hearing her voice going, man, she's got a powerhouse of a voice. And um, yeah, the song boys, the sentiment of it. Um, I also heard she was going to have a baby boy. And so, um, you know, through a couple of different relationships, we got uh, the song in front of Mickey and Mickey of course loved it and said, yes, absolutely. I want to be part of this song. And then, we just you know, going back and forth uh, like this. We I actually haven't met in person yet, but we've talked a lot like this and we've done interviews like this. And um, she's just a sweet, sweet person. And her star has risen so much, even since we did boys, like she's all over the place and I'm so happy for her. And uh, yeah, I mean, her voice on boys, I think elevated the song. If it was just me, it would just be whatever. And, it might have been like, you know, okay, but the way she comes in and just lends that that female perspective to the lyric and the vocal, um, it's just, uh, yeah, it gives me um, chill bumps for sure. Initially met, I think in 2014, you were kind of writing all your own songs. And then for a while you were kind of doing the thing of co-writing and hanging in Nashville and all that stuff. And now you seem to be back to writing your own a little more. Yeah, I like I like mixing it up. Like if, if mm. someone beats what I'm writing, then I'll take it. Like I don't have an ego in that way. Like I want my fans to to feel connected. And sometimes sometimes the well is a little dry, you know. Or you're you're t you're pulling from the same well all the time, and it's it's helpful to to, to go okay. That, that person did that totally different. I love that, and then you kind of adopt it as your own, and it becomes your song and and um for me it's a little bit of a process because i do write everything a lot of my stuff's by myself so to take on someone else's song it's it's like you're putting on this 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 costume and you, it doesn't really fit but 
eventually if you wear it long enough it does you know <laughs> Maybe it boosts, yeah. boosts a better explanation put your foot in you're like oh, that's a little odd and spend enough time in it it's, it's you know 